welcome back to World of Sport and now to the third and final bout of wrestling. It is a catchway contest between the British middleweight champion Brian Maxine and Ray Sander. Maxine giving away over three stones. Round one was clear. Here's the bell now for round two. Seconds away, round two. Brian Maxine at 12 stone eight. Giving away over three stone to Ray Thunder. And no score after round one. Seven to go. Two falls to the side. To try and side head chance to throw on a man that size must be very difficult. He, he made it, but it was a little slow. Man. He's still trying again now. Maxine was holding on all the time to that uh, strength hold. Back to the side head chance right now. Yeah. Took him well over the top, quickly trying to get the shoulder press on. Again, quickly countered by Maxine. Side head chance ready. There it is. Oh, 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 oh. And now the referee, very suspicious that that was a punch, but he's not sure of it because Ray Thunder holding his opponent ju just right to avoid the referee's punch. Both of these men liable to break, bend the rules quite a bit, but so far I must admit, Maxine hasn't even thought about it. Thunder has, getting him too early again. Now a reprimand from uh, Kashmir Singh to Ray Thunder. Just let him get up. And now Maxine pointing your fingers and to say, if you want to play that way, I can do it too. <laughs> and how well we know he can. He's an ex-boxer, both amateur and professional. Before turning pro wrestling. Ray Thunder with two minutes left of the second round. Uh oh. Well, we saw the hair pull there. And I'm sure you did at home, but referee, no chance of seeing that at all. Everybody blames the referee for that sort of uh, thing, but it's of course quite impossible for him to be everywhere at once. He does his level best, he's got uh, a lot to do in there. He's going to be around the right side for all those moves. And again, there's another one, the grab of the trunks. And still, he hasn't tempted his opponent to try the of his usual rule bending, Maxine, doesn't it? Uh, uh, uh. Forty seconds to go. One, two. And generally, of course, we get screams against Brian Maxine, but so far this afternoon. The crowd here seem to be foreign, but he's so much the smaller man, and he's behaved so far. Ah, a definite punch, surely. Did the referee spot that on 
Ray Thunder swears that that was the lead of the hand, but, well, just a few seconds left now. Ray Thunder from Berry in Lancashire, 15 stone 10, who has really traveled recently. India, Sweden, Spain, France, Beirut. Just returned from Berlin tournament only a few years back, and he, I think, is thinking of going on one of those again. Western Canada, United States of America, Hawaii, returned from Texas in 73, Japan also later that year. So he's really been around. Seconds away, round two. Six rounds to go, no score. Maxine giving away three stone. Brian Maxine, the middleweight champion, giving away three stone plus to Ray Thunder. Very lax. Oh, the back elbow is second, the second time and reached for the third, but uh, Sunday got him before. It's right across that front. Back elbow looking for it again. And still, Maxine has not done any inside moves that are illegal as far as I've seen it. Paul Nelson to Ray Thunder. Next team complaining that he's holding the hair as well as the back of the neck and the Nelson. Yes, he is. So ropes break anyway now. And Maxine a little bit mad now, a little bit mad now. Just a bit red in the face, and he might just possibly change back to the Maxine we knew before. Again, the full Nelson by Ray Thunder. Nicely on the top, very nice. Great way out of a full Nelson, the big man too. And a nice drop kick. He certainly wasn't going to come off those ropes. He'd rather go out and do that. And he was right. Great thunder. He's getting back in time. Or will he? He's being held back in time. Beard was. Well, Maxine was not inclined by the Double-handed beard hold. <laughs> and the crutch hold, Maxine, can he lift? Oh, straight to the gut. And did the referee himself spot it? He cannot go by what the crowd says, remember. A definite, very definite warning, but he cannot. Public warning, unless he saw it himself. Four arms, Maxine, four arms. Again, a four arm. Two minutes to go in the third. No, no. Oh, that left hand of uh, Sanders. No, it's okay. Legal that time. <laughs> And Maxine tempted, but he still hasn't driven in that uh, punch that he's long into. Oh, there he did at that time. The force to it, I think. Are the referees spotted or not? How many times have I taken it, says Maxine? Give me just one. And of course, Ray Thunder, the first to complain. Having delivered about three himself. All the referee unsighted enough to give a public warning. And one minute to go. Crutch hold, slam. But the throw, rather than the straight down slam and follow up. And he 
knee drop. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. One, two, three. Less than half a minute now in this third round. And Ray Thunder finally gets his public warning. In round three, the referee gives his first public warning to Ray Thunder, Glenn Dennett. And Maxine looking over at him as if to say, and about time to. And so sorry, Robert. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Too late for Ray Thunder to follow this up. But he follows it up anyway in a rather loose fashion. But still no score. So let's have a look at the pair of them here in opposite corners. On the left, Ray Thunder from Berry. Just three stone, two pounds more than Brian Maxine, the middleweight champion of Great Britain, a 12 stone eight on the right. Seconds away, round four. Round four and five rounds to go. Still no score, but one public warning against Ray Thunder and another one on his way if the referee spotted that. No, he didn't. All perfectly legal, or so the third. And that's what was that? Referee right there, so happy with that one. And he was trying a pile driver, but there he made a slam out of it and a follow down to the cross press, and it could be the first fall it is to Ray Thunder in round four. It just took him 35 seconds to get that one into the fourth round. And 35 seconds of the fourth round, the first fall goes to Ray Thunder, Glendennin. Not really surprisingly, but his, ex his weight advantage, getting the first pinfall finally in the fourth round. But still one public warning against this man from Berry, and four rounds to go. Maxine still could come back with his skill. Seconds away, round five. <laughs> Maxine thought he was going for a posting in the opposite corner, braced himself for it, and didn't. That's the one he was waiting for last time. And this time to it. And Maxine going in for his posting now. And over the top, nice drop. But the follow-up wasn't there. And a drop kick, good one. A beauty right on the point of the jaw. Now that could do some vaccine a lot of good now. That could weaken his opponent quite substantially. Following up with the forearms, and rightly so. Doing well now, Brian Maxine, coming back well. And another drop kick, a little bit lower this time. Not quite so good as the first one, but effective just the same. Maxine waiting for a third. No, he's going for a flying tackle. Okay, Doubt if he'll get his man over. This man's too strong for that, I think. Yes. Just a little too powerful to be forced to lose his balance from now. Flying tackle again by Maxine, trying it a second time. Yes, a crutch hold and slam, and Maxine going down with a reverse double knee hold. Can he hold three? He can. There it is, the equaliser in round five. Just one minute, 25 seconds in, and Ray Thunder furious about that. But it's the equalising fall, whether he likes it or not. And one minute, 25 seconds. Of the fifth round, the equalising fall goes to gold belt Brian Maxine. And cheers for Brian Maxine. Ladies and gentlemen, in the fifth round, the referee has disqualified Ray oh, Thunder. Oh, Thunder disqualified. And the winner, Colbell.